What's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about my three biggest mistakes I have made when I started to learn how to create AI influencers. When I first started in 2022, the image models were like good enough, but they were kind of shit and you had to be much more technical. And in that time, you pretty much could not generate any videos. But I have already been able to make some profits back then. So now the game is much easier, but the problems I have encountered are pretty much the same. So let's get into it. First biggest mistake is choosing too long. These are like the first images of the face of girl I've created. And I have spent, I don't like to say it, but I don't know, like one week or two weeks just choosing like which face do I use, which body type do I use, how do I name her and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, these things are like kind of important, especially in today's times when everyone can create such an influencer. So you have to choose a niche. You like have to give her a story. It, what does she do? What does she like? What are like, what is her style and stuff like that. But autistically choosing like which face to use, which body type to use, my images are, perfect, are, my images are not perfect. I cannot decide. It's kind of useless. Because if you actually look at the top performing OnlyFans girls or AI OFM girls, you will see that at first the OnlyFans AI girls do not look perfect. The people that actually are successful on Instagram, they do not have the best images. The best images are from the people who like the technical side of it, they like to generate, they like to generate on their models and stuff like that, and they get the best pictures, but they are not the best at marketing. So you can see that marketing is much more important than autistically choosing a picture. Like any of this, what you would choose, it would do well on Instagram. So just create okay face, create an okay body, create a girl, give her some story and you are good to go. You do not have to spend like more than two days on this. And after you have done it, we are moving to a second mistake and it's not warming up accounts. Look, today Instagram algorithm is pretty smart. You know, we are in the age of AI and the algorithms are smart. And if you look at the behavior of normal people on Instagram, what are they doing? Do they just create an account and instantly start posting post, real, post, real, every day, every day, two stories or whatever? No. The most realistic scenario is that someone creates an account, then they don't post for a week. Then they, okay, they just like look at the Instagram. They maybe like look at some reels, look at some images, follow their friends, and then they post a single image and then nothing for a week and then post a second image. So you don't have to like do that and you don't have to wait like many weeks or many months, but you have to somehow warm up your account. You have to increase the screen time. It's funny that I say that because it's like the opposite of every self-improvement advice, but you have to increase the screen time on your account. You have to scroll, you have to like the post, you have to comment. You have to send it to some people, right? Or to your friends, it doesn't really matter, but you must make the algorithm think that you are a real person actually using the Instagram. And then after the account is warmed up, then you can start posting. Then you can do one post per day, one reel per day and one story per day. But not before you do this. And moving on, the third mistake is doing too many Instagram influencers at once. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know that it sounds compelling that yeah, I'm gonna do this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, and I'm gonna run five accounts at once because I can generate a lot of images. That's true. But if you look at the real example of today's influencers, you see that you gotta niche down. Like if you look at this girl, like see that like she's so specific, the specific niche of, of her like you know, personality, pink hair, stuff like that. Then you look at this profile and she's like super minimalistic. And the photos on your profile must like match, right? I'm gonna show you another whiteboard I have here. I do not want to show you the text because these are like secret information. But this is just so you can see how much effort you can actually put into the style of the influencer, her personality, her stories and whatever. So you can actually get a good results. And if you want to do that for five influencers at once, it's gonna be a more than full-time job. So my recommendation is don't do too many influencers at once 
or at least in the beginning, do just one. Don't do two or three, do just one. And after you are able to make some money from the first influencer, then maybe, maybe increase to two or three, but never increase to more than one influencer before you make your first sale. I know it sounds compelling that, yeah, you are gonna have five accounts, you are gonna make five times more the money, but in reality, that's not really the case. So this is the end of this video. If you want to see any more stuff like that, drop a like and comment and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you at the next one. Bye.